right, so I know it's been too long since I made a video. I've just been so busy and just kind of doing stuff to the house and working. So it's been like five weeks, but that's okay. Uh, in this video, I wanted to kind of give an overview of my 2012 Corvette Grand Sport. It's definitely one of my favorite cars I've ever owned. Probably my favorite one in the fleet right now. It's just so much fun to drive. It sounds so cool. And actually, um, I wanted a cammed C6 since I was really young. Um, my dad and I had the story. I was probably 14, maybe younger, and we were out in Granbury, um, well, the Crescent area, driving around, and there was a bright yellow C6Z that was cammed, and I said right then and there, I really want one of those one day, and this is a grand sport, I know, but specifically just a cammed C6, and I made it happen, and it's really cool. I've had this car since February 2017, so it's been around a while. It'll be uh, almost four years now. I kind of just want to talk about um, everything we did to it and kind of the story behind everything we did to it. So um, an overview, it is, uh, has a BTR Stage 3 cam, ported heads and full exhaust, and all the work was done by Advanced Modern Performance in Grand Prairie. And there's a bunch of other little details I'd like to show you guys. Okay, so I'm just going to start right at the front here. So if anyone remembers the C7 that I briefly had, it had all turquoise accents and it was actually also cyber gray. And uh, like the first thing I had to do when we got uh, this car stock is get that red off and cover it with teal. And originally my husband and I did this with Plastidip, but um, after the car was detailed and ceramic coated and stuff, it kind of came off. So we ended up redoing it with vinyl. I just think it's a cool detail. It's not over the top, but it's just a little subtle accent. Almost an identical shade of turquoise is on the calipers. These are powder coated, not painted. I painted the ones on the C7 and it just didn't hold up. So these are actually powder coated turquoise and then they have the Corvette decals on them. Thanks again to my husband for painstakingly taking these brakes all the way apart. That was horrific. But um, the powder coaters did a really good job with making this color really pop. So the story of the wheels is kind of interesting. Um, I knew for a fact that when I got a C6, I wanted spider wheels. I kind of like the OEM plus look on cars. So I didn't want any crazy aftermarket wheels. Um, these are Z06 wheels and I just love split five spokes. So this design is just so beautiful to me. Um, the funny thing is I bought these from a guy named Bob or something in Florida and it was just like a sketchy $1,500 PayPal transaction, but they're actually factory spider wheels and they have, I think it's Speedline, they have the stamp and everything in, in them, which honestly I was okay with reps, but when they came and they were actually factory, that was just a bonus, it's really cool. And um, they came gloss black. We went through a few phases of powder coating and stripping, powder coating and stripping until I got a color that I actually liked. And um, shout out to RMP Motorsports in Lancaster. He, he actually ended up helping me pick a color that I really liked. I showed him some pictures and um, this was the color we landed on. It's absolutely perfect. And then um, we finally found a, a spray paint for the center cap to make it almost exactly match. So these just look really good and I like them. So a couple other details, these are just VHT black, no big deal. Um, but the blades, the Grand Sport blades are what's cool. These are actually cyber gray, so they're paint match. And uh, a lot of people just do these black or whatever to cover up the chrome that comes on in factory. But my husband found a website that was selling them in the factory paint colors and he bought a set for me and put them on. They just look really, really good compared to you know, plastic dipper painting them just black. So this car is just absolutely gorgeous to me. This is like my dream Corvette, honestly. Um, it's freshly washed, finally. I didn't wash it for six months during the, the house build and the move, but it's finally clean. It's just shining so much. And actually, um, the paint on it was really, really, really bad when we bought it at the dealership in 2017. Um, it looked like it went through a dealership car wash like 50 times over. It was so swirled and like just horrible. And Brandon McComb at Driven by Details was actually able to get most of the swirls and scratches out of it, and he ceramic coated it, and that's why it's just constantly so glossy, even if I go forever without washing it. And of course, it cleans up really easy with ceramic coat, as you know, just so, so pretty. And Cyber Gray has just always been one of my very favorite paints because it, you probably can't see it, but it's got a lot of blue flake in it and you know blues and turquoises are kind of my thing so I just absolutely love cyber gray 
So in the winter of 2018, I went ahead and decided I wanted a splitter, some side skirts, and a spoiler upgrade for this thing. And I wanted it, uh, Z the ZR1 style stuff, it just looks really good, but we found this kit for really cheap. And I didn't want to like splurge on the carbon fiber because it's so close to the ground, it just gets really beat up. So this is just ABS plastic. And um, Arlington Auto Center did a super great job painting it gloss black. It holds up, it looks really nice. It's actually pretty durable for being just right there, like a few inches above the ground. It just adds such a more like aggressive look. So you can see the sides here, it's there. And then the spoiler is the ZR1 Extended. And honestly, I can't remember where I bought it. It's been on there a while, but it's also gloss black. I absolutely love it. It's my favorite spoiler that they make for the C6. So under the hood, we added just a little bit more turquoise and I wanted to show you guys that. So nothing much to look at under here. No uh, pro charger, unfortunately, but um, the fuel rail covers we did turquoise and that the lettering that used to be red. I don't really pop the hood much because like I said, there's nothing to look at under here, but um, I know it's there, so that's all that matters. Okay, enough with all the boring stuff. Let's hear it start up and idle. So um, stepped outside so you can actually hear me while it warms up. It's super loud. Um, it has Cook's headers and it actually has the uh, factory MPP in the back. So it's got the mild to wild switch. That's a lot of fun. Uh, it kind of helps you beat that drone if you're like cruising on the highway and you don't want it, it to be so loud. You can just close the baffles and you're good. And while we're waiting, let's uh, talk about how good the garage looks. Thanks again to Sanitech Services for uh, doing that epoxy and polyurethane flooring. It's absolutely awesome. And uh, you probably saw the footprints. It is a little hard to keep clean being black, but it's just, it's beautiful and glossy and it just tra completely transforms the garage into basically what looks like a showroom. Plus the, the can lighting in, in the ceiling and we have uh, color change bulbs, one on each side. It's just really cool and it's really coming together. All right, so that's a lot of fun. I just absolutely am in love with how this car sounds. It just revving it, idling, wide open throttle. It's just so good. And it has like just this bite to it and I, I love it. So uh, as far as power, it's not that fast. I mean, it's just, it's heads and cam. So it's nothing crazy. It makes about 500, um, but you know, it's okay. I just really wanted a car that always started up and could, I could take anywhere. Um, that sounded really good first and foremost and also looks really good. And I think I achieved that with this car. And I think it'd be cool to pro charge it one day, um, especially if I keep it around as long as I think I'm going to, but it's just good how it is. And it's just cool to be able to have a car that you wanted since you were a kid and that you constantly like saw on the road. So the C6 came out in 05, I was 11. Uh, so I kind of spent the better part of my childhood um, at least what I can remember with like cars around having the C6 there and I actually drove one in 2007 or something when, when I was like really young. My dad uh, brought one home. He was a wholesale car dealer as I've mentioned in previous videos. So he always was bringing home different cars which was uh, really important in my development I guess. Um, and one of them was a, a base uh, red C6 and 
I got to drive it up to the store with, with him in the passenger seat, and it was just uh, a lot of fun. And now I have my own, and it's awesome. Real quick, check out my really cool sign. I've been wanting that forever, and uh, it came in about a month ago, and it goes above the window into the garage, which is in my office. And I get to turn around and look at my Corvette whenever I'd like. And uh, one last thing, here is a flyby clip from a year ago or so. It's the same build, so if I did it again, it wouldn't change. Uh, so here is that. So that was an overview of my 2012 Corvette Grand Sport. I hope you enjoyed it and stay tuned for more videos.